If you're a data center and you want to reduce your carbon footprint, then maybe you should take your servers for a swim. Now let me explain what I mean. Data centers play a critical role in powering our interconnected world, but they consume enormous amounts of electricity, especially for cooling purposes. A report published in Science in February 2020 estimated that commercial and governmental data centers use over 1% of all the world's electricity, over 200 terawatt hours of electricity annually, with a staggering 40% dedicated to cooling alone. Currently, most data centers are cooled by chilling a fluid down, using that fluid to chill air, and then blowing that air over hot servers and recycling the process all over again. However, there's a better way. Immersion cooling works by directly immersing servers in a non-conductive fluid. Here's an example of an operating server in just such an environment. This cooling method is enormously more efficient. Just the heat transfer from the server to the fluid is 20 times more efficient than air. Also, the entire system of cooling is much more efficient. Switching the world's data centers to immersion cooling could save 60 to 70 terawatt hours of electricity usage globally. But the benefits continue. Immersion cooling is much easier on the servers, and it also allows us to time shift our cooling demand. During peak renewable generation times when the sun is shining, the wind is blowing, and demand for electricity is low, excess fluid can be chilled, storing the cooled liquid for use during periods of high demand or when renewable energy production is low, for example at night. By acting as a behind-the-meter thermal battery, data centers can help smooth the energy demand curve, reduce strain on the grid, and enhance the utilization of renewable resources. Immersion cooling can be a game changer for the grids that supply data centers and should be the standard for all new facilities. States, municipalities, and other regulatory bodies need to be looking at how to accelerate the deployment of these behind-the-meter thermal batteries and lower the barriers to adoption. There are lots that these entities can do. For example, modifying existing tariffs and incentives to encourage this type of behind-the-meter thermal battery. Managers should also be looking at how to use this technology strategically to lower their costs and carbon footprints. The European Commission has called on data centers to become carbon neutral by 2030, 20 years earlier than other industries. And as we've seen this past year, we can't wait any longer to move. The adoption of immersion cooling is a quick way to reduce energy demand, and more importantly, it can help with the adoption of renewable energy sources. I'm going to be presenting a talk on the subject at the South by Southwest Conference at 4 p.m. on March 14th, 2024. I hope you can attend, and if not, I will post the recording in the description below, as well as a paper that I'm currently working on. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon.